Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain the part of computer status inside my scene. You will see I have a button with an on off button and we have a description start and stop PC. So what I'm trying to explain is how this actually works. So let's start. Remember all this is based on one variable and that variable is start PC. So I have the variable start PC and start PC can be on or off. That are the two possibilities of that variable. So we know that button is based on that variable. When it's on, I will see the button on. When it's off, I will see the button off. It's quite easy. Also remember, I can put my computer on on two ways and I can power off my computer also on two ways. The first way is using my phone. When I click on that button, my PC will turn off because it's now on. The second way is go to the taskbar inside my windows and click on shutdown. Do it manually. Same with power on. I can power on my computer by using my phone, using a wake on LAN, or I can do it, click on that button when it's off, or the next thing could be also done by power on my computer manually by hitting the power knob on my computer. So those are the ways to power on or power off your computer. So how does that actually work? Let me explain that. So the first thing is doing it by my phone. So let's open Tasker right now. And here I'm inside Tasker. You will see I have here four tasks for PCs, auto remote. You will see PC shutdown. That's shutdown, the translation. And I have also PC shutdown manually and PC start up and PC start up manually. So the shutdown and the start up, the normal ones, are remoted by my phone. The others are manually when I'm sitting on my computer and put my computer on by hitting the power knob on my computer. That's that. And the same for shutdown. When I use the taskbar and then the start button and then click on shutdown. So those are the manual functions. So let me explain the first one. To start up, when I click on that, that's just a task. And I will use a say command PC start up. And I will set that variable to yes. I'm sorry, that should be yes and no. Okay. Uh, I'm setting the variable start PC to yes. And I'm using the wake on LAN. And then I'm using an auto notification cancel and the status bar is collapsed. Why I'm doing those actions? Because I'm triggered that from my notification bar. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, I hope you understand that. It's quite easy. When I go back, when I look to the shutdown from my phone, the action from my phone, this one, I have a say command, PC is shut down, and we set our start PC to no. And then we send an auto remote message and we use a notification cancel also and also the status bar is collapsed. So when I open my event ghost, let's open that. I'm here inside my event ghost. You will see also here three macros. So this one is used by when I shut down Windows or my computer from my phone. 
So what I'm doing here, I'm sending a message to event ghost and that's the message. Shutdown PC. So I'm sending an auto remote message to my Windows. When event ghost receive that message, it will shut down my computer and then the auto notification cancel will be triggered and status bar is collapsed. That's what I'm doing from my phone using remote control by my phone. So now you know how I can start up my computer by using my phone. We can LAN or shut down my computer by using my phone. Now the second part is shut down and start up the computer manually and also change that variable inside our task. So what I'm doing right now is here in my event ghost in the auto start you will see several things will happen. So you will see here plugin auto remote is registered and then it will register my device Nexus 5 and then it will automatically send a message to my Nexus 5 and that message will be here PC start up. So when I go to my profiles you will see here PC start up and I got an auto remote message with the message PC start up and when I receive that from my event ghost it will do this task and it will set the variable start PC to yes. So when I start up my computer manually by hitting the power button Windows will be loaded, I will log in inside my computer and event ghost will be start up and it will do those things and when it has registered my Nexus 5 it will send a message to my phone and that message will be trigger that task and inside that task there is one action start PC to yes. Okay, I hope you understood that. So at this moment, my PC is on. Okay, when I open Tasker, that scene, you will see my computer status is on. Okay, let's exit that. Now, the second thing, let's go back, is shut down our PC manually. When we, uh, when we are working on our PC and we will shut down our PC just by clicking in the taskbar by start and then shut down my phone has to know that my PC is shut down so what I'm doing then is normally I will use this one so inside that there are two things the first thing is an event and the second thing is an action so when the main on end session is triggered it will send by using auto remote a message to my phone and that message will be this one PC shutdown here PC shutdown and it will trigger the task and the task is only one action start PC to no so I can't demonstrate that right now so what I'm doing right now is I made the same thing but one event ghost is shut down that's an other event but the action that follow the event is the same so let's try this one when I close event ghost it will send my phone a message and that message would be triggered that task and set my variable to no remember when I open my scene right now you will see here my computer is on. So when I close event ghost right now, let's exit that first. Okay. Uh, when I close event ghost right now and open our phone again and open that scene again right here, you will see here 
my computer status is off. When I open Event Ghost again, let's open that and I exit that also. And when I open that scene again, you will see my computer is back on. So what I did right now is based on Event Ghost. When Event Ghost is open, it will be also on. When Event Ghost is off, it will be also off. So for the off button, in this example, I used Event Ghost. But you can also use the follow thing this one and the event inside that will be main on and session and then also your message. I couldn't show you that right now because my computer will be powered off and I can't do any tutorial when my computer is off of course. So for this example I used almost the same thing but one event ghost is closed. So the main is unclosed and I used the same action after that. So I hope you understood how this works. It's not that easy, but you have to think on several things when you use that one. So I hope you learned something right now. And if you have any questions, just leave that on my Google community and have a nice day. Bye.